Welcome back everybody. In today's episode of Cooking with Kirby, we are going to be making some barbecue chicken. I got some chicken thighs here and some chicken legs. Actually, I need to do some trimming on these uh, thighs that way I can show you how to trim them properly. And then the only thing else that we need is we need a seasoning and some barbecue sauce. Now for today's seasoning, I'm going to be using Uncle Steve's Shake. This is his original blend. Um, someone that, you know, makes their own seasoning at home. I was like, you know what, I'm going to give this guy a try. And you know what? His seasonings are really, really good. Um, I have to say, I've tried all of them. Uh, the, there's a spicy version of this one. Uh, there's another one that's uh, for, it's called like big meats. I guess it's like a steak seasoning. And then he also has another one that's really good is uh, the Gator Shake. Uh, you're gonna see these on the channel, but uh, I usually don't buy seasoning. So this is kind of, you know, new to the channel, but uh, this stuff right here, man, is some good stuff. So we're gonna be using this along with that video that I made the barbecue chicken wings in the oven, this is that barbecue sauce. Now I have, I have a little bit left over and that's what I saved it for. And uh, this, you gotta check out this barbecue sauce. This is some good stuff right here. So yeah, we're gonna be using that. We're gonna be putting that on later on. So we're gonna start off by trimming our chicken. You know, these are the store-bought thighs that are already pre-cut, but they don't you know, do a whole lot of good trimming. So. As you can see, there's a little lip right here that you want to trim down. And there's a little bit of lip back here. So you just kind of want to form it to about the, the size of the thigh. All that fat's going to render off, so we don't need to worry about none of that stuff. All right, so we're going to get underneath the skin here. I'm going to just pull back the skin just to expose some of the meat. And we're going to go ahead and just give a nice little seasoning right in there. Now what I like about this this rub, and this is kind of like the same profile as my rub that I make, it's not heavy on the, the salt. So that's that's really good. That's I like seasonings like that. But uh, it's got a really good flavor. Now we're just going to go ahead and just coat the top with some of the seasoning. Pat it down. I could already tell this this uh, rub is going give to give a nice color to the, to the chicken. Now let's go ahead and season the back of that there. Alright. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and season all these up. Same thing, we're going to do the same thing with all the rest of these. Get underneath the skin, the, the legs, same thing. You want to pull back the skin, season the meat up. Just like that. Then we'll go ahead and carefully, I don't want to get my other hand dirty, go ahead and just pull the skin back up. Just like that. And now you want to just go ahead and season the skin. This is uh, pretty often cooked that I do here at home. My kids love barbecue chicken. They love my barbecue sauce. and. Uh, yeah, they love it. So uh, they're gonna get another good meal uh, this today. So I'm gonna just go ahead and finish seasoning the rest of these, and then I'll see you guys outside. So I'll leave the link where you can pick this stuff up at uh, Uncle Steve Shake. I believe it's UncleSteveShake.com. Uh, this is some really really good stuff. And I think it's only like five dollars a bottle, uh, if, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's like about five dollars a bottle. Really good seasoning. You guys got to try this out. But yeah, I'll leave the link in the video description and in the comment section so that way you guys can check out the seasoning. All right, so we're here in my backyard. So here's the game plan. With chicken, I like to cook a little bit hotter temperatures. Not too crazy hot, but I like a little slow cook around 300 to 325. Now that's not too high. You know, if I'm in a crutch, I'll crank that baby up to 400, 450 degrees and have it cooked up in about 45 minutes. But today I got a little bit of time, so we're gonna take it easy. So what the charcoal that I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using B&B's Mesquite Lump Charcoal. I'm gonna use about a half of a chimney of that. I'm gonna be putting that on the bottom of the slow and sear. And then I'm gonna be using another half a chimney of just some Kingsford Blue. And I'm gonna light that up and we're gonna mix it up with some apple wood chunks. Now, depending on what flavors you're going for, now I want that Mesquite smoke, you know, to get into the chicken and then follow it up with that apple flavor. So let's get to the grill and get this going.
All right, so we'll go ahead and even this out. So I'm gonna put three chunks of apple wood, and then we're gonna go ahead and put some lit charcoal right here on top. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put one quart of water in our trough. Now you want hot water to be put in there. So you wanna make sure that you leave a little lip right here because you don't want it all the way. So now we're gonna go ahead and drop in our charcoal. Be really careful, you don't want it to go into the water trough. Just carefully drop them in. Okay, so level out your, your charcoal. So I got the vents on the bottom opened up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my probe right here in the middle. That way we can get the temperature of the grill. Now with your top vent, for the first 10 minutes, we're gonna have everything open. Now a little tip, thick white smoke like that is not good for your food. It's gonna give you a bitter and disgusting taste on the meat. So what you wanna do is you wanna let that burn. You know, when you're using wood, you gotta let it combust. So we're gonna wait about 10 minutes to let that wood combust so that way you get a clean smoke. So you wanna give that initial burn about 10 minutes or so to you know give in because you do not want that bad smoke. That, that's gonna be some nasty stuff, especially you know putting it on chicken. Chicken absorbs it really quick and having that white thick smoke, that's not real good. What you're looking for is a blue translucent smoke. So now that I got it to where I want it, we're gonna be putting on the chicken. All right, we're still wide open. So I have all the vents open right now and I'm running at about 314, 313. That's what the probe's saying. So let's go ahead and open this up. As you can see, it's not real thick smoke like at first. All right, so we'll go ahead and take our chicken, line it up right here. These wing shelves on the Weber kettle, they come in real handy. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and close this up. We're gonna let this do its thing. Now I'm gonna check on it in about, probably 45 minutes is when I'm gonna check on it and see where we're at temperature wise on the chicken. Now it's been about 10 minutes since I, I put the charcoal in there and we were up to about 315. So I'm gonna let it recuperate and see where we're at. If it starts going above 325, then I'll start closing some vents down. But it was at 315 wide open. So uh, I'm shooting for a temperature of 300 to 325 degrees today. So we're almost up to our 45 minute time limit. Now I'm gonna be checking the chicken. Right now it's at about 308. But when I first you know, got the chicken on there and closed everything up, it stayed at about 288 for, for a very long time. So. Uh, seems like the rest of the charcoal is starting to get lit up and I'm a little over 300 But that's what I was looking for. I was looking for a cook between 300 and 325 So uh, I'm gonna check the temperature of the chicken if it's about 175 degrees Then we'll just go ahead and start basting it with our barbecue sauce If not, we're gonna go ahead and let it cook a little bit longer just until it hits 175 degrees So our 45 minute timer is hit Oh, yeah, that looks good right there Go ahead and check one of these these birds. I know it's probably got to be done. And when you check it, you don't want to hit bone. All right, so we're 180 plus, perfect. So we got a crispy skin. Yeah, look at that. I'll go ahead and hit it with a little bit of apple juice and water. All right, so now we're gonna baste it with our barbecue sauce. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and baste the bottom of this first, then I'll put it or turn it around and then coat that skin. So go ahead and give everything a nice little slather of some barbecue sauce. Just give it a little kiss of that goodness. All right, now that we got them all basted up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them 
cook for another five minutes just to thicken up that barbecue sauce. And then we'll flip them and do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and baste the other side. I don't wanna bore you guys with this. Basically what I'm gonna do is on that top side, I'm gonna let it baste two times. So now we're gonna go ahead and baste this side. Now I'm gonna do this two times. I'm not gonna show you on video. But uh, you know we got a nice, nice crispy skin on that chicken. Now we're gonna just rehydrate it with some barbecue sauce. And you know a lot of people don't like you know that it has the streaks, but you know uh, this is backyard barbecue. I love how it gets that nice gloss, and it just you know makes the chicken look good. So just go ahead and give a good coating of your barbecue sauce, and then we'll just let that thicken up. I want, I want that barbecue sauce to be like candy on that chicken. Now this is why I do it all the time because my kids love this when I make it. It's like little drumsticks of candy meat. <laughs> Some good stuff though. Now the temperatures did shoot up. Just to, just to note, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, ever since I opened it up, you know, to put the barbecue sauce on there. It did shoot up to like 300 and something degrees, like 350 is what it was at. So uh, just keep that in mind. So I kind of cut back on the vents. But yeah, it's burning hot right now. That radiant heat right now that I'm, I'm getting like close to my hand, that's pretty hot. But not everything needs to be a low and slow cook. You know, a low and slow cook will come when, it, when it's needed. But uh, for this, man, you can have this done in an hour and a half easy. I'm really digging that slowness here though. So, I got everything basted up. I probably put a little bit more on this one just so it can thicken up on me. This one's gonna be my picture. But, um, yeah, we're just gonna hydrate that, that skin. You know, it got a nice hot crisp on there. So let that barbecue sauce just, you know, hydrate it and just thicken up on there. But yeah, I've been digging this slowness here. It's working really good. I can play both ways, slow, you know, hot and fast and low and slow. So. I'm not gonna bore you guys with basting, so I'm gonna just do this one more time. I'm gonna let it go five minutes, and then uh, baste it again, and then do another five minutes, and they're pretty much done. And I'll see you guys inside. Well, as you can see, we had a fantastic cook. This chicken smells good, and I've already tasted a piece, and it's really good. But man, that nice cake of glaze of barbecue sauce on there, So let's give it a try. Mm. <laughs> Barbecue chicken is messy. Let me clean up. The flavor profile of, of Uncle Steve's shake, that's some really good stuff right there. Mm -hmm. Has a really good smooth flavor. And it blends well with the sweet uh, barbecue sauce. I hope some of those tips that I showed you guys on how to use the slow and sear and the Weber kettle you know, help you along that barbecue journey. It was a really fantastic cook. End results were perfect. And if you have any questions, just by all means, leave it in the comment section. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. That way you can see future videos just like this. I have these recipes. They're really good. You should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.